In South Asia, a massive tower is now on the brink of completion. A building which will dwarf every skyscraper, not just in Malaysia, but around the world. Today, we'll take a closer look at the new second tallest building in the world, the Merdeka PNB 118 Tower. Before we move forward, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. Have you already visited a mega tall skyscraper? Let us know in the comments below. Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia, is among one of the fastest growing metropolitan areas in the world. A growing hub for business, the city is also renowned for some of the world's tallest skyscrapers, including the famous Patronus Towers. The Merdeka Tower is the latest addition to the city's incredible skyline, which will beat the Patronus Towers to become the tallest building in the country. The construction of the 644-meter-tall Merdeka Tower started in 2014, making it the tallest skyscraper under construction in South Asia today. Once completed, it will surpass the Shanghai Tower to become the second tallest building in the world. The tower is being constructed on the most important heritage site in Malaysia. It will overlook the historic Stadium Merdeka, the site of the formal Declaration of Independence of Malaysia. In fact, some of the building's most prominent features are inspired by that historic event. The shape of the tower resembles the silhouette of Tunku Abdul Rahman when he raised his right hand and chanted the word Merdeka, meaning freedom, seven times from the top of the Merdeka Stadium. The 144-meter-long spire at the top of the building resembles the Prime Minister's outstretched hand when he declared freedom for Malaysia. So, the Merdeka Tower isn't just a symbol of Malaysia's bright future, it also represents the most important moment in the country's history. The tower is a part of the larger Merdeka 118 mixed development project that will cost upwards of $1 billion. The construction of this impressive skyscraper started steadily. The tower was over 42% complete by October 2019 and was well on its way to a timely completion by 2020. That was, until the world was engulfed by the coronavirus pandemic. People remained confined to their homes for most of the year, and every industry in the country, including construction, was impacted in unprecedented ways. The Malaysian government issued a movement control order that required the Merdeka 118 construction site to shut down. The construction was halted on March 18, 2020, when the tower had reached 111 floors. But any fears of lengthy delays were quickly dismissed as the work resumed on May 13, 2020. The work restarted under strict guidelines, including temperature screening of workers and practicing social distancing on the construction site. In early August of 2020, the building's concrete core topped out at 118 floors, surpassing the Vincom Landmark 81 as the tallest building in Southeast Asia. Work on the facade has continued, reaching level 82 by October 2020. The building is owned by the country's biggest investment company, PNB, and according to the chairman, the tower is 60% complete, with work on the spire to be completed by the end of 2021. The surrounding infrastructure, which is also part of Phase 1 and Phase 2 of the development, will be completed by mid-2022. The skyscraper will feature 83 stories of premium office space, while the top 17 floors will be occupied by the Park Hyatt Luxury Hotel. The four top floors of the skyscraper will be used as an observation deck. At a height of 500 meters, it will be the highest observation deck in Southeast Asia. Visitors will be able to reach the observation deck in a glass-paneled elevator attached to the side of the tower. The experience of reaching the top of the tower while enjoying the breathtaking views of the city is truly unique. The building's futuristic and symbolic design embraces the diverse culture of Kuala Lumpur. The diamond-shaped facets on the exterior of the building are derived from a traditional Malay Songket pattern, celebrating the cultural diversity and traditional legacy of Malaysia. The rest of the building is covered in glass from top to bottom, giving it a magnificent crystalline shape. 
The mega tall skyscraper will be connected to the Merdeka MRT station, which is currently undergoing refurbishment as part of the Merdeka 118 development. There's also a monorail station within walking distance of the building's recreational park. This kind of easy access will give the residents of Kuala Lumpur a sense of belonging to the iconic landmark. In view of Malaysia's commitment to sustainable buildings, the tower aspires to be a model for workplace safety and sustainability. It will become the first building to secure three national and international green building certifications upon completion. One big question to answer for the people behind the project is who will occupy the second tallest skyscraper in the world? Given the current global pandemic and economic situation, there are challenging times ahead in a dwindling property market. The president of PNB claims that the company is in advanced negotiations with potential tenants and will continue to actively seek more property investors. While there's a lot of excitement surrounding the imminent opening of the tower, the project has also attracted some scathing criticism. Many in opposition have called it a waste of resources and called on the government to turn its attention to health care and the raging water crisis. The opposition to the project was led by Malaysia's former Prime Minister Mahathir Muhammad, who himself had presided over megaprojects like the Petronas Towers and the Telecom Tower during its tenure. He believes that there's already an excess of office space in the city, and the resources used for the tower could have been better spent somewhere else. However, former Prime Minister Najib Razak rejected the criticism and claimed that the project will generate great economic opportunities. He claimed that the tower is economically viable and will break even within 10 years. He is confident that this magnificent skyscraper will project Malaysia as a modern and developed nation. The Merdeka Tower has been called a catalyst for change, a beacon of hope, and a great change in the history of Malaysia. Despite the criticism, there's no arguing that this skyscraper is set to become a global icon. It has the power to usher in an era of modernization and progress in an already booming Malaysian economy. What are your thoughts on the Merdeka Tower? Are you excited about its completion? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.